2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hey Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Well, it's certainly a great opportunity for this player to bounce back in this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement that these two generate. And let's see what he can do here today. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Time for the second shot into the first. This one heading towards the green. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. This one's for birdie. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Henny, what have they got in front of them here? He's got, oh, I'd say roughly 120 here. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Oh, he's trying to silence the young buck, Will Zalatoris, with that one really putting his cards out on the table. Brilliant stuff. Let's take a look at Will Zalatoris. Oh, right at it from out of the bunker. 
Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. At minus two, going along nicely today. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Tee shot is looking good here. And what are we looking at here, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Going with the eight iron here. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. And he's safely on the green with that shot. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Surely it's going to. And that will drop in for a birdie. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. Oh, well done. Well, this is a little bit of a birdie blitz going on from the player. Can they make another? It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. All right. Facing a little up and down here to save the par. Oh, Had a good lie in the bunker, but still, that was some kind of talent. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. This is what they have left for birdie here. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Well, they've certainly got the swing in the groove. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day, awesome. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Getting ready to play their third. Ah, oh, what a shot from the bunker. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green. 
that is not protected by any bunkers. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Outstanding shot. High quality. Got to like their chances from there. Well, an important part here in terms of the tournament. A chance to move inside the top ten. And down it goes. I oh, will take that and a spot the top ten to boot. Trailing by six shots after that hole. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. Not bad. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. Now who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, it's in the hole. And for birdie. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Sitting at six under for the day. Currently tied for 10th place. Uh, great shot. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. He's currently tied for eighth. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three, playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. He's found the surface. Good chance here. An important putt here. They make it. They're into the top five. Just didn't drop. A par putt awaits. In she goes. Let's head to the next. He's currently tied for ninth. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then... If safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. <laughs> Playing from around 230 yards. Five shots off the pace. Going with the hybrid. And this player's really going after it here, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Chance to sneak into the top five here. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. 
pretty straightforward four footer coming up here. Beautiful shot. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Looking really good, this one. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. The 10th at TPC Sutherland is the beginning hole of a back nine that has many challenges and also a lot of fun holes. Not overly long at 420 yards. You just try to avoid any trouble off the tee so you can get a clear shot at this green. A chance to begin the back nine with a birdie. Well played, mate. Sitting at eight under. Currently tied for sixth. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. High-quality shot, that one. Right next to the hole. Birdie at the last. This for another. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole. Par 4, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. That should find the cut stuff. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Henny, how's that ball lying? This is perfect. They can make great contact. You couldn't ask for a better sand lie here. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. As we test ourselves here in the closing nine at TPC Summerlin, what's the second shot into 11 like? It's a very unfriendly second shot. This green sits above the fairway a good four to five feet. If you hit it long, you've got no hope of getting it up and down. A very scary shot, to say the least. If you walk away from a par here, happy days. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. Yeah, you'll take that. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Currently 10 under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The 12th here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tips, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. Lovely effort, that. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. He's two shots back.
Going with the pitching wedge here. Good sounding strike, that one. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. That's well played. Pin high. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Oh, this would be a good putt to make. And with it, a share of third spot. by a stroke after that hole. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you've given yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. Already with multiple victories this season. the courage here rich getting after this par five in two as they should what a play hopefully they'll reward it for that play oh yes what a shot and this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times these guys and girls are good still a fair way away from the hole here time to make a long putt Ouch, that hurts. That's disappointing. Four feet to the cup. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And that makes him tied for first. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long part. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival... Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, my. How about that for a par? Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. If it's up, it could be in. Oh, well, holes. He'll take the birdie. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The 15th at TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. 
That's nicely done. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Yeah, he's got just over 16 feet here. Looking really good, this one. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The 16th at TPC Summerlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. Oh, absolutely flushed. This shot here near the 200-yard marker. Currently leading by two. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. That was special. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. OK, steady now. Good look at Birdie here. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Now let's switch our attention to Will Zalatoris. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Our current leader is up by three shots. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three measuring just under 200 yards from the tips. The green shapes hard right to left towards that water hazard. Make sure you're clever at shaping your ball or don't take on any hole location that's tucked in near to the water. Well, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. Yes, they've made it. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Why don't we catch up with Will Zalatoris? He's flying high after that nice eagle on the last. Here's Will Zalatoris. That's the hands of a surgeon. Nothing like it. Good stuff. Our leader is up by four shots now. The 18th at TPC Summerlin is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. a boy. Good shot. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? And from around 135 yards. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And that signs off on today's round.